Now where'd that damn monkey get off to? Maybe the chef seen him. You seen my monkey? Oh no, I have not seen your monkey. Alright, that damn monkey, where is he? Oh, monkey meat is so delicious and good. Especially when from a beloved pet. So you want cook some food do you well you've come to the right place my friend this is a pretty easy job this is a good starter job actually maybe not right out of the bat but you know like if you've done janitor and you're tired of cleaning up other people's messes this is a good good way to start making some messes of your own as being a, the uh, station cook so we've got all kinds of things first thing you're gonna want go to this vending machine get yourself a nice kitchen knife you're gonna see that in your backpack you have spawned with a whetstone you are going to take your knife click on that whetstone you're gonna make that knife real sharp so if you're having trouble that's gonna do a lot more damage whetstone is useless now so you can throw it away you'll also notice you have an extra box Chefs always spawn with a random box of ingredients, and it looks like we've got a decent amount of uh, vegetables in here. Oh my, what ha what happened over in Botany? This guy, fucking, fucking druggies. His botanists are a whole bunch of druggies, I tell ya. What, what, a, what a bunch of fuckers over there in Botany. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, here. So, looks like the bot has made uh, not that much, much food for us, but it'll work. This isn't really extensive. This is gonna be quick because this is, like I said, it's fucking easy. So, in here we've got a goat. Don't kill the goat. Drag the goat out into this hallway. Forget about the goat. Goat will be useful, assuming it survives in that, uh, in maintenance. Uh, for if the station is ever infested with space vines, Goat will eat him. But, uh, yeah, you don't really want him in there, because he will randomly get a hair up his ass and start beating the shit out of you. So, this is your kitchen. You have got beakers, you've got, you know, condiments, such and This cook cookbook's gonna be real useful for the newbies. Uh, it'll probably even be useful for me because I don't remember exactly what is what. Well, you've got some donk pockets here. Donk pockets are good if you don't. Uh, if you want to really quickly put some food out for the station, you just shove these. You just shove these suckers in here. Turn it on. Turn it on. Now you got some warmed up donk pockets. How about that? You can put those on the counter anybody who wants to come get them. Also, you got a free banana cream pie right here. You're going to want to give this to the clown. Call the clown be like, here's a free banana cream pie. Always give the banana cream pie to a clown. He'll probably fill it up with acid and throw it at someone. Hopefully not you. Because you have been nice to him. So warm dong pockets are better than the cold ones. You can eat like more of it. It's weird. Anyway, this has our milk and eggs in it. As you can see, lots of milk, lots of eggs. This has a flour, sugar, and some rice in it. You're gonna probably go through that flour pretty goddamn quick, so it's a good idea to make the botanist make you some wheat. Back here, we start with some meat. Just four things of monkey meat. In this, this is some clothes. You want to change your look. 
We also have a, uh, we have a, um, thing that you can make condiments, basically. So if you, like, use this blender, you can make ketchup, I'm pretty sure. I've actually never fucking used it. Cause there's not, there's not a lot of, it doesn't call for it, call for it that much. We'll talk about the gibber and the meat spikes in a bit. This is the ice cream thing. I'll teach you how to use this ice cream thing real quick. All right. You select the ice cream flavor you want. Chocolate ice cream. You select the cone that you want. You want a chocolate cone. You take this cone. You take this cone. You click on the ice cream machine. It gave you that chocolate ice cream. And it's also got, you know, everything in this vat. Which it will use up as you dispense more ice cream. And bam, you got some ice cream that you can just eat. Or you can give out. Uh, once again, this vending machine has basic stuff in it. You'll probably need bowls every now and then, and there's condiments, for tray, fork. Those are really just for RP reasons that you would want that shit. So we've got we've got a we've got a fucking monkey right here. I mean, I mean, free it's free meat, right? Just don't let the bartender see it. Just don't let. Oh, he's hitting me with the the bartender's book. Let's uh. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. He. Okay. He's uh, he's down. What you want to do? Change to grab intent. Grab him aggressively. Click on the meat spike. This is how you get meat. Bug the botanist for some monkey cues from the bio generator when you're running low on meat, or order some monkey cues from cargo. Either or. What you're going to want to do is you, when you have the um, knife selected, you change to hostile intent. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got this wrong, apparently. Uh, is he not dead yet? Is that why? I think he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. Okay, now he's dead. Now, hostile intent. Click on him. You'll start to butcher him. I forgot that they need to be dead first. And now you have got all kinds. You not only got monkey meat, you have got all of his internal organs and stuff, which can also be used for, for meats and food. It's pretty good. Take yourself off hostile intent. You have this food processor, or I'll show you what you can do with that. You got deep fryers. You can literally fry fucking anything. This pie, fry it. This dong pocket, fry it. You can even fry on edible things, and then people can just eat like the edible crust off them, and then it will drop the unedible like thing onto the floor after they have consumed all of the crust. Yeah. You've got your blender here. I already went through that. Microwaves. Cook cart. You're never going to use it, probably. You can store food in it and then, you know, go around the station giving out food. Probably not something you're ever going to want to do because the clown is just going to steal your fucking food cart and then you're just going to spend the entire shift hunting down the clown and murdering him. So, uh, let's get into some cooking now look at this cookbook it tells you how to make some basic shit hey it tells you how to make cheese and the doughs the doughs are the most important 10 units of water 15 units of flour we can do that well how you do that how you oh, know the, the things are done they ding they ding okay they're done they're nice and deep fried um take your beaker Open this up, grab a bag of flour, change it to 15, dump that in there, and then go over to the sink, which, and click on it, and it'll pop the little dough on the floor. Don't worry, it's totally sanitary. Now, if I were to stick this dough as it is into the microwave, it would turn into bread. And the main way you cook in TG is by clicking this little T down here, and then going over to the food category like so and then going through the basic things like this so for meat bread you would do one bread three cutlet three cheese wet 
let's uh, let's do that just to show showing off. So to make bread, stick a unaltered dough, and I'll show you how to alter it here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and um, make another dough while that cooks. Each flour bag holds 15, I think. Yeah, it's empty now. So we've got the bread now. All right. Let's put the bread right there. If you want, you can take a kitchen knife, you can slice this bread. You get sliced bread, you can make sandwiches out of it. You can basically stick whatever you want onto a piece of bread and, and then put another piece of bread and it makes a sandwich. That's how you that's how you make sandwiches. Um okay. So we want we want some cutlets and some cheese get cheese we gotta use this universal enzyme bottle down here as well as some milk now I can't remember the exact measurements this actually tells me you want five universal enzyme to milk it doesn't tell you how how, how much milk we'll see gotta be I'm pretty sure you can't do a soy milk though uh, let's just dump a bunch in there and make sure this is set to five Oop. Okay, let's put some more milk. There we go. And now we've got cheese. Take this cheese, cut it with this knife. You got some cheese wedges. All right, now we are almost done. Now all we need is some cutlets. This is not a cutlet. This is a steak. You take a kitchen knife, use it. You've got some cutlets. You got raw cutlets. We need to we need to cook them, I believe, for this recipe. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, and how many? Oh, maybe we don't. Oh, that's cream cheese bread. Uh, once you can actually craft something, it pops up to the top of the menu. You can actually change this to only show what you can craft. But this is basically like a mini wiki right here, since you can hover over, you know, what you want. So three cutlet, three cheese wedge. We'll need one more cutlet cooked. Turn that on plop these over here why didn't I tell you cooking was easy it's pretty goddamn easy uh, crap I threw that too far <laughs> all right and now we can craft the meat bread craft it crafting bam fucking meat bread meat bread ready to go next you can manipulate this dough in different ways. You can roll it and it'll turn into pizza or you can cut it, right? You can, you can cut, oh, right. You have to roll it first, roll it first. Now it's flat dough. You can turn this into a pizza. Uh, I will show you there is a whole fucking category for pizzas. One pizza bread, you stick this flat dough into there, you get pizza bread. Four cheese wedge. Let's make a margarita pizza. Fuck it. Let's uh, let's go through some basics. Uh, what do we need? We need one tomato and four cheese wedges. We're gonna need some more fucking cheese. We're going to need more cheese. Apparently, the universal enzyme just stays in there. I don't. I don't get it. All right. Slap slap of that on there. We got. We get. Where is it? We have one tomato, two tomato, three. Don't throw the tomatoes; they will splat. Throw that pizza pizza bread. And bam! Margarita pizza done. You can serve it up like this, or you can take your kitchen knife, cut it up. It slices now. Throw that. Sh okay, it can't. It can't, it can't. You gotta, you gotta just place. Them. Bam. Bam. Pizza. See, isn't being a cook goddamn fucking simple? Like, hot damn is it easy. There are some weird, um, there are some fucking weird things. Uh, like I said, like, if you're like, where the fuck is ketchup? It's, it's in, it's in the spinning machine. There was one thing. You can fucking make a power crepe. Huh. See, that's, that's weird. That requires some weird shit. And that'll be like some like high level chefing right there. There is this one. You can basically pig in a blanket, bun, stick. 
That's pretty easy. Spider eggs ham, that sounds disgusting. Human kebab. Oh yeah, you can cook humans, by the way. Cake, living cat slash cake hybrid. This is a good one. Tesselium is something you're gonna have to get from chemistry, but something that might not be uh, that understandable to obtain is uh, sprinkles, cause it's fucking weird how you get sprinkles. Also, the uh, making a birthday cake, you need a cake hat and vanilla cake. I'm just going to show you cake hat spawns right here. So if you're planning on making this, you want to grab and uh, actually grab that before anybody else does at the beginning of, of your shift. Was uh, fucking this thing requires sprinkles, that's right. I'm going to just show you how to get sprinkles because it's weird. You hear these... These fucking donuts. You stick them in your blender. You got two options. You can grind or juice. You grind them up. You get fucking sprinkles. That's how you get sprinkles. Grind up the donuts. I don't think you can get sprinkles in any other way. Someone correct me if I'm wrong and then you can get rid of the things that you don't want. Do this. So now you've got a whole bunch of sprinkles. All right, I've shown you some. Let's teach you the food processor. Get a potato out. Take this potato out. Stick it in the food processor. Turn it on. Turn that shit on. And bam, tater tot. I was actually expecting fries. <laughs> um. Hmm. How do you make fries? You gotta cut this t tater up first. Ah, yes. Potato wedges, oh no, see, oh man, I'm just doing everything wrong. <laughs> I thought that's how you got fries, by putting potato, maybe you need to put more than one potato in actually. Maybe that's how you get fries. You take ears of corn and um, put them in the food processor. You get, if I recall correctly, you should get, um, I don't think I was supposed to actually deep fry that. Oh, oh well. Should get tortillas. Yes, tortillas. That's how you get tortillas. Grinding up um, corn in there. Which, you know, you can make uh, tacos and burritos. There's so many. Like soups. Soups all require bowls. Which, you can, again, you can get out of there. Again, I'm not going to go through all these fucking recipes because it would fucking take goddamn forever. Uh, I think you've probably already got a pretty damn good idea of how to be a chef. So I'll, I won't drag this on much longer. Ooh, you can make a dank pocket if you get some cannabis and a pastry base. Well, that's interesting. I will, um, I will show you. There are some really weird things and neat things and not necessarily safe things classic taco tortilla cheese wedge cutlet cabbage we've actually got those ingredients this will be the last thing I'll make we got a cabbage we've got cheese wedge I think it was only one it might have been more than one we've got that well now what else what else was it what else did we need classic classic taco Tortilla, cheese wedge, cutlet. Alright. Take this knife. Cut some of this. Cut some of this meat up. Apparently you can't slice it there. Picky ass game. Jeez. I will show you what the gibber does though as well. Here in a second. And we'll we'll end with that. We'll uh have a little treat for this sleepy botanist over here. Classic taco, bam, fucking bam. Chef is real goddamn easy, what can I say? Of course, you want to make something that has something weird in it, you're one, gonna have to look it up on the wiki and figure out where or what it is, and then bug whatever department has access to whatever ingredient it is. So um, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, chefs have access to the morgue. The reason for this is, you know, sometimes meat is scarce, and, uh, you fucking, you know, 
need some uh, need some meat. So uh, if there's you know some bodies here that are brain dead or you know never coming back, like uh, this botanist here. First off, you do have to make sure. Oh look, he has a broly in his mouth. What a fucking what a, a penguin. His name was Penguin. What the fuck? Uh, let's see. Um, just go over here. Go over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do the old grab intent. Click on there, and you'll see him. Oh, you don't actually see him go in, but you can turn it on. Don't look. Just don't look. Okay. And we've got some human skin, which if you get enough of it, you can make a bloated human costume. Who wouldn't want to do that? And you get some penguin meat. <laughs> uh, so that's how you use the giver. You can stick any kind of an like animal in there, but you I'm pretty sure you only ever get one meat. So you don't want to do that with monkeys. You want to string them up. Also, if you take the monkey skin, you can turn it into a monkey mask. So, yeah. That's how you be a fucking chef, guys. What can I say? It's goddamn easy. I didn't need much time to explain this. I probably took too much time, to be honest. I think you probably got understood everything at like the 10 minute mark, but you know, whatever. All right, guys. I hope this has been helpful. And I don't know what kind of tutorial I'm doing next. I'm actually kind of out of th things I want to do. But we'll see. I'll probably figure out some sort of tutorial I want to do. Okay, bye.